Hey everyone, how are we doing today? I'm feeling fantastic. I am super excited for this new add-on in Blender which allows you to put Mario into your 3D scene. Today, I'm going to teach you how to do just that. For this to work, all you're going to need is Blender, a Blender add-on, a Mario ROM, and a controller. And the best part is, it's completely free. So as I hear about this and want to be the first person to put a video out on it, it is 12.50, um, just about 1am. So let's get down to it. We're going to start with Blender and if you don't have Blender installed, I'll leave a link down below and and welcome to your Blender journey. First, we're going to download the Blender add-on called Live SM64. I say Live because it stands for Library. You could also say Lib. After you download the add-on, make sure you keep it in a zipped form and then put it somewhere where you're going to remember it later. Next, we're going to download the ROM. I would leave a link down below, but all of these sites are pretty sketchy and I don't want to be responsible for giving anyone a virus. So again, download at your own risk, but I would recommend looking up Super Mario 64 ROM and downloading from whichever site makes you feel the best. Next, we'll open up a new Blender file, go to edit, preferences, and then from there go to add-ons. Then let's click this install button. From here we're going to navigate where we put that add-on called LiveSM64 and install it into Blender. I have a Blender add-ons folder on my desktop and it comes in pretty handy. So here's that zipped folder, I'm going to click on it and hit install add-on. After you hit install it should return you to the original add-ons page and if it hasn't already make sure you click this box that enables the add-on. From here we can minimize this window and start to build our scene in Blender. For this scene I'm thinking we're going to do something uh, uh, very simple. We're just going to move the default cube down um, and maybe scale it out a little so Mario has some place to run. Uh, from here we can make a new cube by hitting shift A and uh, I'm going to move that cube down a little and hit shift D to duplicate the cube just so Mario has some things to jump on. After my scene is set up I'm going to hit N on my keyboard that should open the property panels on the right side. I have a few add-ons installed here but you can ignore those and go right to live 64. Now if you just hit insert Mario it's going to throw up an error and it throws up the error because it doesn't know exactly where the Super Mario 64 ROM is in your computer so we need to help Blender out a little. So we can navigate to it by again clicking on this folder here navigating to where we downloaded the ROM and then hitting accept. Now my favorite part all we have to do is hit insert Mario and he should pop up right where the 3D cursor is. Now although Mario is in the scene, I can't control him yet because I need to connect my controller to my computer. I have an Xbox controller, so what I'm going to do is save my scene, exit, and then come back in Blender. After I save my scene, I'm going to open up Blender again, go to File, Open Recent, and go right back to my file. I'm going to delete the first Mario. And I still forgot to connect my controller, so I'm going to do that again. Come on, there it is, now it's connected. Now, I'm going to open up Blender, navigate to where I saved my file, and if now I hit insert Mario, I can control him with my controller. I can make him jump, I can try um, long jumps like this, and the best part about this is it works with uh, kind of built-in boundaries, so if you try to jump off the map, or if you accidentally fall off the map, uh, Mario is going to uh, save himself. It comes with all the original Super Mario 64 animations, um, it may be different on your controller, but for me, top left trigger is crouch here, uh, and I can even crawl too. I have A for jump, I can use my stick to move around. So everything that's possible in Super Mario 64 in terms of movement is um, possible here in Blender too. Now if you're confused as to why Mario doesn't have any textures, you can add some textures by pressing Z, and then going to Material Preview, and then from there you should see the original, boom, Super Mario 64 textures you're used to. If you want to get even more spicy with it, you can hit Z and then move to rendered view. And from here, if you're an experienced Blender user, you can add in some lights, crank the volume up on those lights, and whoa, look at that. Now we have some realistic Super Mario 64. Pretty cool, huh? I wanted to make this tutorial because I spent two hours trying to figure out how to make this happen, and I just finally got it. I'm making this tutorial so nobody else has to go through this problem, and they can set up Mario and have fun in their own Blender scenes. All I ask of you is to like, subscribe, and check out the other videos on the channel because, man, we are dedicated to bringing you the best Blender videos.